episode Contact. thing, you start seeing Quantum more and more of that potential. Initiated. Begin scan. Contact. I'm a paleontologist and I can see boobs. I can't! If you have really, you need really good preservation to see something like that. Though. It's not a hard part, so you need really good preservation. All right, let's uh, talk about the planet again. Let's decouple. Let's try not to crash. Oh wait, we need something that's telling us why there's few craters. The first thing I can tell you is I don't see anything that looks like a volcano. Uh, craters and volcanoes look pretty similar, so that's kind of tough. But the reason I say that is because I don't see any real dark. This is kind of dark here. It's a little dark over here. I don't see a lot of dark surfaces so far. And that would indicate basalt flows, which are the most likely kind of, of, of lava to have a volcano spit out if it's a rocky uh, body. What I do see that's interesting is this whole side of the planet. You see all that over there? That is interesting. It could indicate volcanism, but it it looks a little bit like ice. You usually get those kinds of features when you have ice on the surface of a planet. You guys remember the picture I put up of Europa? This looks a lot like Europa, doesn't it? That, that looks a lot like Europa. So this could be actually an ice structure that's over here, which means that you might have a little bit of a mixture of water, uh, of ice, not, not liquid water. Uh, it has no atmosphere has a very thin atmosphere if it does want one. It doesn't seem to have an atmosphere. Probably not liquid water. Uh, but ice can sometimes resurface, sometimes not. So I'm not sure what resurfaced this actually. I'm not, I'm not certain about that. But this is resurfaced. I'm a noob at this game. That's alright. It's a fun game. It is. It's in alpha so you know, you gotta deal with bugs, and it's incomplete. This game is gonna be much bigger than what we have right now, but it's a super cool game. You can also see uh, on this structure over here, there's no craters at all. So this entire side of the planet has been resurfaced. Dried up riverbeds? It could be. They don't quite look right. Uh, the reason they don't look like dried up river riverbeds is dried up riverbeds have a, what's called a dendritic, dendritic pattern, where they as things, as water flows, it erodes away um, the rock, and you end up with kind of a relief associated with these. And there's no relief there. Oops. Uh, you can't see relief. I don't see hills and structures. You can see hills and structures here with this crater in front of me. You can actually see some relief. There's no relief on this side. Um, so these are, are something's really superficial, uh, really shallow. And if you had water flowing, you would downcut and erode. Starting to get a little better look here. Hmm, I don't know, man. That's bizarre. They look really bizarre. Take a closer look at this crater. It might give me a bit of an answer. It's a very old crater. I can tell you that. It's not entirely accurate in its shape, but it's still pretty old. I still lean towards this being something water related, but it looks really weird. This isn't quite the kind of structure. We'll look at some images and see if we can see a structure similar to this. I've got a couple of ideas of what it could be. Uh, to me, it looks like water ice, but it looks like they have... So we gotta remember, this is a video game. We're not looking at a real planet. It looks like they took the water ice base from Europa and they resurfaced it with rock on the surface. Getting kind of close to the planet here. Got to shift away so I don't blow up. It looks like they took a, a, a layer, a texture layer of rockiness, of regolith, basically, and they put it over top. Which that could happen. You can get regolith on top of ice uh, if it's not been resurfaced uh, recently, very, very recently. All right, we're getting a little more of this interesting side of the moon here. You see how few craters. There's some little ones. Uh, but there's practically no craters. Extreme Flame 80! Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream.
Darth Rich, welcome to the stream. Thanks, guys, for the follow. Yeah, it's it's awesome that I have to remind you guys we're not looking to real moon, so there are elements here that they might have done and not realized that it like they they clearly put a little bit of a rockiness to this, um, and that might be what's throwing me off a little bit. But this definitely looks like you know what this looks like. I'm gonna show you a picture w when I crash here of Callisto. Uh, or you guys can Google image it right now. It looks a little bit like Jupiter's moon Callisto, uh, which is a mixture between rock and ice like Europa. Um, we'll look at Europa, we'll look at Callisto. This looks a little bit like Callisto. It's a really good structure. They've done a really good job of detail. There's some more craters here. But this is this whole surface here is a very distinct surface. You can even see the craters are very distinct different colors than this whole surface. This surface is also kind of that that pinkish color that Pluto has sometimes in, in some of its resurfaced areas. This is cool. We're actually going to be able to get a kind of a full orbit here. Let me recorrect my orbital path a little. There we go. Yeah, that's a good point. They could look like something was ejected from below. They do look bizarre. You're right. The small craters here look a little strange. They look like divots. Actually, you know what they look like? Um, they look like sinkholes. Uh, if something was ejected from below, typically you have material like uh, volcan volcanic craters or things ejected from below. But then you end up with volcano because it deposits all the materials and the slopes around it. These little dark patches look like sinkholes. Sinkholes are... They basically form when you have something underneath the surface that dissolves away. The classic example is limestone, which dissolves and makes caves, and then the cave collapses, and then you, on the surface you end up with a hole, a sinkhole. And this is what uh, sinkholes look like on Earth. Uh, be a damn big sinkhole, if you can see it from space. <laughs> like a really, really big one, but certainly there could be some kind of a geological process to create that. Especially when you have, if you have subsurface ice. You could have whole blocks of subsurface ice uh, that could evaporate away or it could break apart or it could dissolve maybe and not really dissolve but they could melt in pockets if there's some kind of inner, inner heat in this moon uh and then those pockets could collapse under the force of gravity and if it's big enough you might be able to see it from space like this some sort of water or gas venting mm, yeah that's a really good point you could have water or gas venting these little holes are probably what that would look like. Uh, these holes are a little too bullish for that. Uh, water gas vent holes look a little bit more like like uh, that's a little cratery. Look more like these 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 brightly colored ones. And in fact, on Europa, they have structures like that that look a little like that. They're they they're slightly different that we aren't sure if they're craters or if they're water gas vents. We do know that water water vents out of Europa. We do have water volcanoes, believe it or not, on Europa. Uh, so that's certainly possible. And that looks a little better. There's, You can see the white around the outside could be some kind of deposit associated with that. So if it's depositing ice on the outside, you would, get, you would still get some kind of a deposit. These are just weird. They're, they look like someone took a pin and poked it. Yeah, I agree. The black ones are a bit more sinkhole-ish. All right, let's correct our trajectory a little bit, and we're just going to keep orbiting here and taking a look until we crash. Um, there's some geological things going on here. These look like rifts. Um, rifts are basically where if you have the land surface and there's some geological activity, uh, maybe there's a slight shifting of the crust, you can pull things apart. These kind of look like... Th this. This looks like it. This could be a rift, or it could be an old crater. Rifts aren't usually curved, so it might be an old crater. It's another impact. This one looks a little cut and pasted from the other one. And before Kappa had on the backside of the planet. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're going to take a look at some pictures and see if we can see stuff that looks similar to this. I, I think that this, if I had to put this moon in a category, I'd say it's probably an icy rock moon, similar to Jupiter's Callisto moon. Now, that's if that's the case, big if, that would be kind of cool because that means this is subject to tidal heat or has some kind of residual interplanetary heat because in order to get this kind of resurfacing or to get almost any kind of resurfacing you need a source of heat pluto being the slight exception to that uh, we're not sure where, how pluto resurfaces to be honest but most bodies you need some kind of internal heat to get resurfacing like this and there's whether this is ice or these are some kind of a drainage thing they don't look like that whatever these are this surface is clearly been resurfaced there's so few craters on this compared to yellow so kellen is younger it is geologically active it's much much bigger so you can see how far away are we we are in orbit about uh, 14 kilometers above the surface and we are orbiting much slower than we were around yellow Let's uh, let's pick up the speed a little bit. Get a good orbit going. It's an interesting structure right there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Thirty dollar packages are already gone for the day. Man, they run out fast. Yeah, I, that's part of the fun. Like, I can I can evaluate that. I haven't critiqued it yet. Uh, it's kind of just a, it looks like a little bit of a uplift right there. Or divot. I'm not sure what that is. That's interesting. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. That's kind of cool. It's kind of a geological over here too. There's a lot of weird stuff. So if I if I were to critique this, um, I would say they were going for an icy rock moon. Uh, they kind of messed up the icy part just a little bit. It looks right, but they added a little texture that was rocky on the surface of it, and that ice wouldn't really look like that. Um, not necessarily anyway, unless they were going for something slightly different. But generally, for the rocky parts, not the icy parts, this surface, the regolith looks really, really good. Uh, they added that in there. There's a lot of interesting structure here, a lot of lines. This could be an old crater. Like a Barkin dune. Yeah, it did kind of look like a Barkin dune. They have those on Mars. They have barking dunes on Mars. There's another one of those divots. That one's not as dune-shaped, though. The, those divots and the sinkholes could be related if I was trying to come up with a geological explanation. They could be all caused by some kind of subsurface ice collapse or... or, or